what is going on guys remix right here today as you guys can see we are on some call of duty modern warfare 3 as always guys you already know and by the title of this video i'm sure you guys are dying to know what mistake to avoid when starting up youtube and i'm about to tell you right now all right guys so here we are on rust rocking the mcw with our magma skin and I am sure you are all dying to know what I am talking about when I... What are you doing? When I... What are you doing? Oh, that person didn't die. What? They didn't die again! Oh, I got both kills. Okay, we'll take that. Help me. Help me, team. Team, 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 please. Please help. Okay. I'm... Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, the tip that I'm going to give you guys, when you are first starting out YouTube, and obviously I know I, I've got only 1,100 subscribers, so, like, I, I, I can't give you guys too, too many humongous tips or anything like that, but the one thing I can tell you is to not use Google Ads, at least at first. And what I mean by that, this is not going to be about the gameplay, by the way. What I mean by that is don't go dumping a bunch of money into Google Ads thinking that that's going to help your channel out because just to give you guys a heads up, it's not going to. Um, it's going to actually just make you more and more upset and you're going to keep pumping money into Google Ads running your videos that you hope are going to end up doing well when, when they really don't. So let me give you an example because I am a victim of this. This is why I feel like I am able to talk about this. And this is, again, an opinion, so nobody get upset. There's a big YouTuber out there that's saying that this video is completely wrong. Maybe they know something I do not. But when I first started, when I first started, you guys will see, my first videos on Minecraft absolutely popped off. They had, like, 3,000 views, 800 views, 1,000 views, like, stuff like that. Now, that looks great. That looks great. But those are all Google ad views. And I, I think, at least I think, that the views are legitimate. I do think the views are legitimate, whether that is once a video is over, it rolls onto my video, or people are actually clicking the video. I am not too sure. I do think that the views are legitimate, though. So don't feel like you're paying for... If you do decide to do it, don't feel like you're paying for fake views. But that is pretty much all you're paying for. I don't even know how much money I spent. I don't even know how much money I spent doing Google Ads. And it was almost it was almost a rush because getting 3,000 views on a video is awesome. But when you're spending 10 to $15 to do that, it starts to rack up. And here's the thing, guys. The thing about it is the views look great. Everything looks great. Views look good. But like I said, you're paying a lot of money for it for zero results in your channel you're getting views but you're you're not gaining the chances unless you're making an absolutely fantastic video right off the rip the chances of you actually gaining even three subscribers and i'm not even exaggerating from three thousand views like you it, it is very hard to grow your channel via google ads very 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 hard and that is why I'm telling you, do not waste your money if you think that it's going to get you subscribers. It will not. If it's going to get you somewhere faster, it will not. Without either knowing the algorithm or knowing something that uh, maybe I don't know, I'm just, I just think you guys should steer away from it. At least, at least at first. At least at first. Because... If you start doing that, then you're going to be like, ooh, I can get these these views, right? And maybe it'll lead to subscribers, and it's just it's just tough. Guys, I'm not even kidding you. My average view duration for the 3,000 view video or whatever it is, is, it was like two or three seconds, which means it was playing and people were immediately leaving. And I, I, I mean, I might have spent $20, $25 on just that video just advertising it, and to only have views to show for it, it it's it's a little rough and don't get me wrong views are great when they're earned when they're when they're when they are you know flowing but the when you're playing paying for them with google ads you just simply aren't doing it oh 
I feel like I just did well. 22 kills. I don't know what my KD was, but I feel like I just did very well. I feel like I just did very well. Let, let's check this out before I continue on the rant. All right, nice. So 1.83 KD almost went, almost went 2 KD. Not bad, not bad. Let's jump back into the conversation though. So like I was saying guys, that is just something to be weary about is paying, paying for the views. Paying for the views is pretty much what you're doing. You're not paying for any, any sort of, sort of like success on the YouTube channel in terms of gaining subscribers and gaining traction on the channel. It is just very hard to do through Google ads. It, it just is, and I hate to say it because it would be awesome if you could put your content out there and it was a good way you could kind of pay. It would be kind of like a pay-to-win system, but it just doesn't work that way. People have to enjoy the content you're posting, and that's why I say don't. That's why I say don't do it at first. Do not do this at first. Once you start making what you feel is better content, unless you're starting right off the rip and you just think you have the best content in the world, but just don't do it at first first it would be my recommendation because usually when you first start YouTube you're you're putting out content that you, you you know you really enjoy but maybe didn't take the time to edit or maybe didn't take really look through it or anything like that I am a I I did this I did not put in nearly the effort that I put into now with my videos I just I just didn't and I was paying like I said I mean I might have spent a hundred dollars on those Google Ads total like I might have spent that and that's a hundred dollars oh my the choking the shots but that's that's a hundred dollars all I, well YouTube I, I, I've obviously gotten lucky on YouTube and things like that but this is a warning that I wanted to give you guys prior to doing that I don't want you guys to fall into sort of like a trap of feeling like oh if I pay this money it may be maybe I, it'll work out don't do it just don't do it save your money put that effort put that money into creating a better video or creating or, or buying a, a new piece of equipment or something. These people are just like sitting around. Or buying a new piece of equipment or something like that. Just just save the money and just really work on your craft. Because if you do that, I promise you the results will be better. You won't be out any money. And you will also just overall feel better. Because you, you, you're gaining those views on your own. Those first, those first few videos, honestly, they, they don't mean much to me. And I hate to say that. I wish they did. But I know that I just put in a lot of money that I, that I shouldn't have on videos that weren't even the best of quality, weren't even the best of videos. I mean, I was playing on PlayStation, which no, no problem if you're playing on PlayStation. I was just terrible on console. So who wants to watch a terrible console player? You guys did, and I'm very grateful for that. But not a lot of people do. And so, I mean, I was putting $20 down a video just to advertise it. And it just, I, I don't think I gained a single subscriber. Maybe, maybe like five from the $100 I spent. So if you're going to spend $100 per five subscribers and you have the money to do that, by all means, I guess, do it. But I just wanted to get this video out here just so you guys could, just so I could tell you from my experience to not do that but i'm not telling you you can't i'm not saying that it isn't a choice at the end of the day i can't believe i didn't get that kill but just just a little warning and i just wanted to tell you guys not to make this just don't make that mistake if you if you can avoid it um like i said guys i hope this video helps somebody hope it helps one of you if it does drop that like button drop a like anyway i hope you i hope you enjoyed the video usually you know what Ah, oh, that's a lot better. All right, guys, that is going to be the video. I hope that this helps one of you, somebody out there. I hope that this tells them, hey, maybe I should wait on spending on Google ads and, and maybe gain a little traction before I do so. And I'm not saying that you can't do it. And if you know the algorithm better than me, then by all means, go for it. Give it a go. But if you're like me and you have no idea about it and you just thought that maybe that's a good way to gain subscribers, it is not. Do not do it if that is why you're doing it. If you're, if It's great if you're promoting a product. Don't get me wrong. You can get tons of views like that. But promoting a YouTube video through it usually doesn't, uh, usually doesn't render the best results um, in terms of subscribers. Maybe views, not subscribers, guys. And, and the watch time on those videos typically aren't good. Like I said, on a 10-minute video, 3,000 views, I think I was averaging like two seconds, which is not good, not good at all. So it kind of was a waste of money. But if you guys did enjoy this video, smash that like button, please. Really helps out the channel. 
And if you're new here, you clearly enjoy this video just a little bit, hit that sub button. It's free. We're trying to grow every single day. You might as well. But anyway, guys, thank you all so very much for all the support on the Call of Duty videos. And I will see the Rye Rats Mafia in the next video.